Hello Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get an update on how the person you have in mind currently feel about you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me for Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Their person in mind, how do they feel about Fire Signs right now? They've been thinking a lot about you. Four of Swords and one first. Hmm. Hoping for a future or a chance to be with you or a second chance with you. Or to travel with you, with the world here. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person you have in mind loves you or is starting to feel um, for you, um, romantic feelings for you. But also this may be an indication of them feeling like they would like to have this new start with you in love, new relationship with you, or to reconcile with you if you're separated from this person, okay? So two different groups of you, fire signs. Um, I sense if if you're separated from this person, four sorts of others, they've been thinking long and hard in regards of a future of reconciliation with you, will of fortune. Perhaps both of you could have a second chance, start over with the world here, start a new chapter together and opening up communication with you, especially if you're not speaking with this person right now. And we've got the death card here. So if both of you are really separated, the Ten of Cups in Mavis can indicate there could be some... Pe uh, you know problems right now some issues trouble in paradise right but feels like they have learned from their lesson with the higher fund here and would like to start over with your turn a new leaf however another group of you fire signs if this is someone kind of new you're kind of you're seeing right now dating right now uh four swords and more indicates this person is constantly think is constantly thinking about you right wheel of fortune they imagine like both of you having this new start together, like a new, again, new relationship where both of you can travel together. The world, the will of fortune, will of fortune feels like they're very excited about it because full sorts of advice can indicate them kind of restless. So they can't stop thinking about, you know, what both of you are going to do with each other uh, or do together in the future. Definitely see like there's this future vibe that i'm getting here it could be again traveling together or just you know starting something new together and the world here indicates them feeling um right now that you mean the world to them or that their focus is only on you fire signs they don't have they're not thinking about anybody else but you. The focus is on you. There's only one cup here in the world. There's only one person here. So the wheel of fortune also, the wheel keeps turning, spinning, spinning around. So I feel like, you know, it's them thinking about you 24 hours, 7 days a week. And um, their head is spinning thinking about you. But good things though, really, really good things. And the moon here is in reverse. It feels also like they are very restless and very excited in regards of, again, it's like, them wanting to turn it into a reality, wanting it to happen uh, as soon as possible. They could also be feeling like they have no doubt whatsoever that you are the one for them with the moon in reverse and the ace of cups here. The higher fun here for me indicates them feeling, hey, I really want to focus on this guy or this girl woman, man, <laughs> depending your age, but the Hierophant indicates them feeling like they are willing or, or wanting to commit to you or uh, start a new commitment with you or marrying you. They see definitely a potential of both of you being in a very serious relationship if both of you are not yet in a serious relationship, but they've been thinking about it. Um, very, very positive things in regards to you. And they are willing uh, to experience the death card here. That means... Tra transformation, putting behind the past in the past, ending what whatever 
whatever, whatever from their past, or whatever that doesn't serve their highest good, or that they're willing to sacrifice as well, uh, anything, so ending something to be with you, okay? They're willing to change their entire lifestyle just to be with you. We've got the King of Pentacles here in reverse. Your person could be a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus, unless this is someone you're separated from. They may be feeling that um you're not invested right now that maybe you are traveling right now you're doing your own thing and then you don't want to speak with them with the knight of swords here and reverse because you are maybe done with them and you've already started new chapter you may also be feeling that you have started a new relationship elsewhere if you are separated from this person however again if this is someone kind of new and you're kind of dating right now um I feel like with the Nine of Swords here in reverse, they're keeping all of these things to themselves, right? And the Ten of Cups here in reverse, right next to the Death card, they're willing to cut off. Again, it feels like they're willing to cut off anything from their past or, again, sacrifice something here just to start this new relationship with you um, because they definitely see a potential to have a, either a lot of fun with you, to travel with you, or they see you potentially their lifetime partner. See, higher fun again can indicate marriage, right? They see themselves being married to you or marrying you, but I don't see them wanting to tell you that. But they definitely want that to happen, and they have no doubt whatsoever that you are the one for them with the Ace of Cups here. That's a Leo energy with the sun. And then we've got Sagittarius. We've got Aries. We've got all three of you here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. The sun, the emperor, which is Aries, and the temperance, which is Sagittarius. Perfect. So this is a reading for all three of you, fire signs. We've got the eight of swords right here. They're very positive about you, the sun here. <laughs> very positive about you. Whether this is someone you're separated from or you're currently with right now, I definitely sense them feeling positive in regards of having this new start with you, offering you their heart, offering you their love and temperance here, wanting to reconcile if you're separated. If not separated, the temperance here indicates them feeling like you are like an angel. You're worth their time, their energy. Um, and it's very rare to meet somebody like you are. They feel like they want to put their best foot forward. They want you to see them in a beautiful light. They feel like both of you can create a very well-balanced relationship. That both of you will be very harmonious being with each other. No drama, that's what I'm seeing here. The emperor indicates them feeling like perhaps you're somebody very mature, somebody who knows what he or she wants, somebody reliable, somebody they look up to. Or it could be your person feeling that they would like to step up, they see things very clearly, that you're the one for them, and they're willing to um, do the right thing for both of you to be together. Or be together again. I'm gonna pull out a few more. Wow, four ones. A lot of cards here, fire signs that to me indicates this person is willing to build this foundation with you, uh, or rebuild, or to reconcile if both of you are separated. They can't stop thinking about you, Eight of Swords here. But justice in reverse indicates them could be feeling also that for some of you, if they've told you that they are currently in separation or that if they are divorcee they're wondering if you would mind if they are or that um maybe for some of them unless you're the one who is divorced they may be feeling that even though you're divorced they may be thinking a lot about okay um will this happen again <laughs> will this happen again uh the second time around that's for some of you only, okay? But just as the reverse can indicate separation, ten of cups, and the death here also can indicate an ending. So for some of you, if this is someone you've ended with, okay, uh, whoever initiated the breakup or the separation, they may be feeling it is not fair. 
but they would like to reconcile but they would like to restore harmony with you because they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about all the positive things that you have done for them or positive memories experiences happy memories happy experiences for once here when both of you were either married or were living together at one point if this is someone you're separated from again if this is someone new they've been thinking a lot about how again you're the one there's so many major cards one two three four five six seven they feel like this is going to make a big change in their life you are changing their life uh, and they're willing to change their life for you make any sacrifices or ending something for you i feel like in general uh, fire signs um when you're in a relationship you're gonna have to sacrifice we all have to sacrifice something right in order to compromise in order to have this balance with the temperance here it's like meeting in the middle trying to be as understanding as possible you may feel like you're somebody very understanding you're somebody very kind somebody very positive somebody they can see loving or loving again or invest emotionally in this connection they've been thinking a lot but they don't want you to know all of these things they really don't want you to know any of these things but they have high hopes in this connection whether separated or together okay i mean whether if if this is someone you're separated from or that you're currently with they're positive that you are the one for sure. All right, fire signs. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. First one is titled Asia. It's from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel has all the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the science with different topics, different questions. Uh, I've also done your monthly prediction reading for your individual signs. Check them out if you want to. Just today I did it. Hope to see you back here again soon. Take care, fire signs. Bye.